Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, A Country Life, I'm Jennifer, and today I have for you a household and clothing haul. So if you saw the last video, that was a great big once a month grocery haul uh, that actually ended up coming in under budget, which I was super pumped about that. That leaves me a little extra money uh, to put towards like Thanksgiving dinner uh, food, things like that. So anyways, then I went on to do some more shopping, kind of like just to pick up all of our household items. And um, and then this time of year, it seems like everybody needs some clothes. We're, we're going into that cold weather. We start pulling out snow pants. They're shredded or they don't fit. Or we start pulling out mittens that... Um, you know, they're just full of holes and everything like that. So anyways, it was just time to get a few new things. So I have for you here a household haul, um, and then I also have some clothing things. If you saw my Aldi versus Walmart video, you know that there are a lot of things that I found that I had been getting at Walmart that were actually um, pennies and sometimes even quarters <laughs> cheaper uh, at Aldi. So I didn't need a lot because I had just done that kind of mid-month, I think that was. So all I needed that I picked up from Aldi were some more paper plates, some of the Kleenexes, and then uh, freezer bags, both quart and gallon. So that was it at the Aldi store. Hey. What do we have going on here? <laughs> Very cool. Okay, I'm filming. I really noticed that in that Walmart versus Aldi haul, there were a lot of um, people, there were just a lot of comments about like, um, what about quality? Do you find that the quality is better at one store versus the other? And the things that I choose to get at Aldi because they are cheaper are things that I believe to be uh, quality that I'm okay with. Now there are a few things that I don't get at Aldi. Mid-month I did run into did run in for some groceries and I picked up uh, like the Aldi toilet paper which I had been buying for a long long time and then they switched it up and I went to Walmart and I started buying the Charmin Essential Strong. I think I've been getting this for since Aldi did their big remodel and then reopened, they had uh, some different um, packaging anyways of their toilet paper so I thought I would try their their like highest end toilet paper again and I don't know I just wasn't as pleased with it as I am with the Charmin Essential Strong. So back to Walmart I went for toilet paper. I got three of these great big uh, 12 mega roll packs for the month. That will get us further than that because I actually have some toilet paper left. Forever and ever I had been getting the Tide uh, Simply, I think it's called Tide Simply Cool Cotton. I've changed up though my some of the summer clothing that were just like really really the sweaty work clothes from the summer. I just I was not getting the the stink out of it and I had done like vinegar in the water. I had done um I read somewhere else baking soda in the water. I tried all these different things and it just wasn't cutting it and my sister-in-law recommended this Tide Sport so I had bought a little package of the pods absolutely loved the pods. Uh, those are more expensive though. So I did this time, <clears throat> excuse me, go for the, the Liquid Tide Sport. This is the first time I'm using this. I hope that I'm going to like that because this too is pretty expensive. $17.97 or $87 for this jug. And I probably should have bought a little extra because I don't think this is going to last for the whole month. Moving on. So I picked up a small box of this congestion congestion sufedrine pe this is just you know tis the season for colds and uh, congestion and things like that i could talk forever and ever and ever about dry shampoo you guys know that i love that um last month i had bought i think i went full on and i bought two big cans of the equate which is the walmart's up uh, brand and although i really really liked the the result in my hair, I didn't like the overspray. It made this huge white cloud around me when I would spray it, and then that white cloud eventually would settle onto all of the fixtures and everything in the bathroom, just making it always having, you just had to clean it so much more often because uh, just this like white, filmy, powdery residue, and I just didn't like that. So I decided to go back to Batiste, which is something I like, and I had gone in thinking I was just going to get two cans of original, but they changed it up on me, so I don't know if this, I thought the original one smelled slightly coconutty, so I thought I would pick up one can of this, and I was going to go for two, and then 
this showed up so I just if this was in a little bit bigger bottle I think it when I if I remember correctly it came out to a tiny bit less uh, per ounce and I thought I'm gonna give this one a try because I'm always I just love dry shampoo and wanted to try another brand too. So I've got two dry shampoos for the month. I picked up two Christmas soaps because the last two times at Walmart, I actually was looking for, these are like 98 cents, okay? And um, I was actually looking for the ones that had the fall picture on for our, for our two bathrooms and I have not been able to find them. So I thought, hmm, they must have had them out earlier. So when I saw the Christmas ones, I snagged them up quick. Then this here is brand new. I've never used this. Love, Beauty, and Planet. And let's see what it says here. It seems like uh, this one says shampoo recovery for damaged hair and acts of love for our planet. Um, I'm not a huge proponent of having to buy things that are necessarily superior for the planet or so the, or so the company says they're superior. But anyways, I you know, here it is again, coconut oil. So I just love the smell of coconut and I like using things with coconut oil in it. I feel like my hair um, is is very, very dry in the winter. So since this says recovery for damaged hair, I just thought that that would be good. I got the shampoo and the conditioner. Here we go, not Thanksgiving yet, but I saw these and I thought I'm gonna pick these up. I love these platter size ones uh, for Thanksgiving rather than just the regular round ones. I think they're a little fancier and they fit more food. And we all know Thanksgiving is all about food. So I wanted to, I grabbed those before they sold out. We have been eating so many cranberries dipped in caramel dip. And so we were just out. I'm completely out of toothpicks except for the ones with the fancy little frills on top. Um, so I thought it was time to pick up some more of those. A uh, paper towel holder. Now, if Warren watches this, he's going to be like, I can't believe that she just bought one of those. We used to have one uh, when we moved in here. Uh, there was one on the wall, and I was like, oh, that is just so ugly. It's plastic. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And I, we took it down eventually. And I think one time we had painted, we took it down. I just did not want to put it back up. And now I really, really wish that I had one. So this was either 94 or 97 cents at Walmart. In case you're looking for one on your own, you have to go to the kitchen, uh, like utensil gadget area. That's where it is. It's not, at least in our Walmart, it is not by all the other paper towel holders. a couple things for Warren for grilling. The last time he grilled hamburgers, some of the little metal bristles on the brush had come out and I saw them on the plate. I snagged them quick before anybody um, got one, you know, like stuck in their mouth or something, which would be, uh, that would be a disaster. But um, I thought it was time to get a new uh, brush. Now, if you watch that show on PBS, there's like that grill guy. He always uses one of these wooden ones, which eventually is supposed to kind of form to your grill. And he said it's just a lot safer. And you can see, they even call it the safe scrape, non-bristle. So I got one of those, which I can't remember how much this was. I want to say it was around $7, which was a little pricey for me for something like that. I couldn't pass up the 97 cent bristle brush just in case this didn't work real well. Then at least we had something to scrape it and I can always return that if need be. Now I mentioned to you guys earlier here that I also picked up some clothes because it just seems like this is the time of year, isn't it? We're kind of switching over. In our case, you know, we have four boys. Peter being the youngest boy ends up getting a lot of these hand-me-downs and by the time they get to him, they are pretty well shredded. Let's start with Maria because aren't little girl clothes the cutest things ever? Maria loves to wear leggings and she wears leggings under dresses a lot, but she's also at five now starting to develop a love for wearing shirts. And a lot of her shirts do not cover up her bum and I like the bum to be covered as much as possible when wearing leggings. So anyways, I saw this little shirt with the kitty face on it. I thought, she would absolutely love this. I love the little ruffle. So this set is by Granimals. Walmart, always a good deal. This is actually one of the more expensive tops they had there at $7.97 because it's just more, it has more to it. You know, it's got the sparkle, it's got the embroidery, it's got the ruffle. Look at these leggings that I got to go with it. Silver glitter leggings. I just thought those were absolutely adorable. So for $4.97, I picked that outfit up for her. Again is long sleeve for winter. It's longer, it's got the ruffle to cover her bum, and she is gonna just love this. She has not seen this 
and I think I'm going to give these to them right away. I don't, I don't think I'm going to wait till Christmas. This set here now is the Wonder Nation brand, which is kind of like Walmart's new, you know how they used to have Faded Glory and then I don't know what else they've had over the years, but Wonder Nation is like their new brand that they've been having, I think last spring and summer. This shirt was $6.42 and then just picked up a pair of leggings to go with that. These are more of like a, I think, yes, it says a jegging. So they're not, they're stretchy, but not, you know, not just like total cotton stretchy. They've got a little bit more dressiness to them. I, I just thought these were cute. I hope she likes these. She gets a little fussy when it comes to jeans. So, but I just thought that matched so cute. Peter always seems to need pants because the knees are always blowing out. So I did find these little sweatpants. I got them in two sizes so that he could try them on at home and then I can just take back the ones that we don't need or maybe just put them away for when he's bigger. Because, you know, I don't know, our Walmart just seems to sell out of this stuff so fast. So anyways, here I found these little sweatpants for him. A little bit thicker than some of his summer weight pants that he has. And then this actually had a matching sweatshirt. And I thought, you know, so many of his clothes have like grease stains on it. I thought it would be kind of nice for him to have something fresh. So that is a little outfit for him. He also needed a winter coat. This is not... I, I didn't get this at Walmart. I actually got this at SierraTradingPost.com, I believe is the website. And so I found this coat. I like this because I don't like kids' coats that have like the double uh, extra zipper, zip out inside or whatever. They just get too fussy and too bulky and just too many zippers to confuse them. So this has one zipper and Velcro. I love that. He really likes this coat. And then from Walmart, I picked him up some new snow pants because... Wow, those look big there. Because again, all the snow pants, either the buckles are broken, the zippers, the knees are blowing out, the crotch is blowing out. So it was time for him to have a new pair. And it's always nice to have something more slippery so that the snow kind of falls off of it. I did get something for Joseph too. If I find 10 Husky at the stores is sometimes very hard to find. And so when I do find a 10 Husky, I love to pick him up, whatever it is that I can find. Joe actually likes wearing jeans. I think it makes him feel like dad. And so, um, I picked him up a pair of these, just black jeans, again, Wonder Nation. I am not seeing a price. I want to say these were 8 or $9. And then Warren here, he had run out of his cologne, and so I sniffed a whole bunch of them at Walmart. And you know what, what happens when you sniff too many colognes? They all start to smell the same. Whoops. This is what I eventually settled on. I hope that he likes it. Again, from that Sierra Trading Post, I, he needed a new Carhartt. The last one I think he got in about 1999 and just last year he had to throw it away because it was beyond repair. Sierra Trading Post kind of deals also in factory seconds. So this coat, which would be around 130 at Fleet Farm, we got for I think $59.99 or $69.99 because it's somehow a factory second. I haven't been able to find, typically it's like a stitching or something like that um, or something isn't quite even but I haven't found anything wrong with it. It's excellent. And then we also got him a pair of bibs. I thought they were gonna be the Arctic weight, which is what he likes, and they're not. They turned out to just be the mid weight. Uh, he still said that he would keep these because he does have a use for those. Carhartt and him are just kind of like one in the winter. So that was everything for my Walmart Aldi household haul. Clothes for the kids, some clothes and cologne for Warren. Uh, it was just kind of a big month that seems like, it seems like that happens about two or three times a year where it just you know like a whole group of people need a bunch of stuff at one time and this was kind of the time if you haven't already be sure to subscribe because there's just so many uh, exciting things that are coming I have some homeschooling things that I uh, that are gonna be coming up um, and what else I know that there's we're gonna be getting full swing into wedding plans too so if you're interested in that kind of thing definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you guys can get the updates right away we'll talk to you guys all later bye bye